Hello, today I am going to be talking about three different ways you can apply a signature or a watermark to a photo. The first method is to use photos app and directly edit it. The second method is to place a text and make a, ma a repeatable signature icon in superimpose x app and the third method is uh, just using the photo logo which you can see here an example of a photo logo which is a professionally designed logo that costs forty dollars so the first method as i mentioned will be you go to your photos app and uh, you can open up a photo so let me choose a photo with a dark background here like that and you click on edit on the top right and you will see in the bottom there is ellipses or three dots in a circle. So, you click on that and you click on markup. So, when you are in markup you can actually scribble or write with using a marker and you can click on this double circle on the right to change the color and choose maybe like a white color. Click on plus and here you see you have the option of putting text. So, when I click on text I can tap it and uh, put my name that is fine or I can click on the smiley and if I scroll through my smileys, you will notice that uh, you have symbols here and you can even put the copyright symbol um, which is not showing right now, I do not know for some reason. Um, done. Oh, it did, but it came in a different color. So, it put copyright and uh, that in a different color. It can the color can also come in black or white, whatever you specify. The trouble with putting text like this is it does not remember it. So, I click on edit once more, I click on markup, and then I click on the plus. The second option is to use signature. And you can see here I have got a couple of different signatures. You can add or remove signature from here and let us say you do not like these signatures. So, you click delete, click delete and click on the plus and you can type something. If you are not happy with what turned out you click on clear and you try again and you can take it carefully. So, I am just writing with my finger. If you are satisfied with the uh, signature you created, click on done in the white square and now you have a signature. Uh, you can click on the circle, choose a different color and apply the signature in that as well. Uh, so, that is one method, the signature does get remembered. So, you can apply the signature uh, which is your own, in your own handwriting to different photos. So, I will click on cancel because I do not want to mess up the photo here and done. I click on edit, revert, revert to original. So, because this you were editing on the photo itself directly with the photos app, you were able to clear it this does not have that much control. So, another method of doing a signature is to use my favorite app superimpose x and when I click on that, uh, here you can see some experiment that I was doing, but I will click on uh, the same image that I, I had maybe the room choose and I can create a empty layer 
transform fit to base so i made the empty layer large i go to editor tools text double tap to edit and i can put my name i can click on the letter a and this lets me choose from 256 different fonts on my iPhone, iPhone 8 Plus. I'm going to choose the last one, Zapfino, and click on Done. So now I've created, and I click on the check mark Apply. So I've got um, my name, I can transform and scale it so that it's a little smaller or bigger or whatever. So I've got uh, my name there. What I can also do if I want is to create another layer, add layer, empty layer, and uh, transform fit to base. I made the base larger. Again, repeat the same step, editor, text, double tap, I'll tap my last name. Click on text, choose the same signature, done. And now I can independently size this to wherever the signature might look nice. So once I've got that, I click check mark. I can put the word photography or images by or uh, I can put a copyright symbol and uh, 2019, whatever I wanted. Uh, because I have it on two separate layers which are both empty, I will go here and merge down. So that combined both these onto one layer. So if I go to transform now, you can see they are both sizing simultaneously. And I click on my aspect ratio but, uh, and lock it so that it doesn't get squished or stretched. But if I'm happy with it, I can click here and say current layer, save it to the mask library. So once it's on the mask library, uh, if I go here and delete the layer, uh, so let's say it's a new photograph. If I go on layer, add layer, photo layer, it lets you choose anything from the mask library. So you can pick a signature you have created like this and you can click on transform and resize it the way you want and place it wherever. Obviously, the white text looks good on a dark background and if you wanted to play something in a bright area, you would use like a black or a dark text. But I'll show you how we can change the color of this text to anything. So one thing is you go to filter and you click on uh, colors. And if you click on red, it inverts the red and you get like a blue color, uh, uh, whatever, teal color. If you click on green, it also removes green. If you take red away, you're getting a different magenta. If you click on combination of these colors, you will come up with uh, uh, the primary colors. Or you can click on all. When you click on all, what happens is you get black text, which is uh, fine for the uh, bright areas, as I mentioned. So here the black text looks nice. So let me delete this. Another of the signatures that I have here is a signature I purchased from Photo Logo. So I click on layer, add layer, photo layer, mask library, 
And you can see here in my mask library, I have transform and the aspect ratio is locked so I can move it around. This is the professionally designed um, logo from photo logo. I tried experimenting on my iPad Pro with an Apple Pencil, but I wasn't able to come up with any signature that I was happy with when I spent quite a bit of time. I debated about getting a calligraphy app and learning it, then I realized I didn't have the time. The photo logo people sell or create a logo for you for $40, which is uh, on sale. Uh, that is, that's the sale price and I think the sale price is around year round if I'm not mistaken. And they will give you two high resolution images which are like 8000 pixel wide. They'll give you PNG files which have transparent backgrounds. They'll also give you two low resolution versions. Uh, one is black and one is white each. So you get four images for the price of $40. It was supposed to be two day turnaround time, but after I ordered it, the very next day within 24 hours, I got an email that my signature was ready and uh, I can download it from their website in a zip file. So on a computer, I went to the zip file. Uh, I extracted the images onto my Mac and airdropped it onto my iPhone and iPad. So I have this. The photo logo people also sell an app which is about $40 that makes it very easy to apply your signature to any photograph. I felt it wasn't worth it in my case. They also send, sell you the photo logo in some different colors for $5 each. But as I just showed you, we can apply the color in black or white or primary colors uh, by using the color. But what happens if you want to get some other hues of it? So it turns out in Superimpose X, if you go to filter and colors, if you adjust uh, or if you go to balance here and change the, it doesn't work with either a black or a white because it signifies either an absence of color or uh, all the colors are fully present. So you can't really adjust it. So what you need is the signature in gray. How do you get a signature in gray? To do that, you go to layer, add layer, photo layer, but this time you choose colors. And from the colors section, you go down a little bit, still somewhere in the gray. If you s slide your finger here, you notice it's color, but this middle bar, if you slide it all the way to the left, you get a gray color. So you choose it somewhere in the middle, a medium gray, and you say choose. So what you have, and then you go transform fit to base. So you have created a layer which is completely gray. Now you go to mask and you type clip up. So what happened was, the layer below had your signature and now you have clipped up or made a signature in gray. So this gray signature, if you want, you can add it to your uh, library like this. But the advantage of the gray signature is if you go to filter, balance and you change the colors, you can now come up with any color possible you can choose any different color and that might better complement the particular photo you had in mind. So you can resize it obviously by the transform pinch and zoom or you can add the signature wherever. Once you're satisfied with the image, you go to blended image and you can save it as the JPEG high quality or because I'm saving for Facebook and I want the best quality, experiments have shown that the PNG image seems to work best. So I can save the blended image as a PNG. And there you have it. 
that's three different ways you can apply a signature or a watermark to a photo. Uh, there are many people that debate whether it's pros and cons of it. Overall, I, I don't apply it normally because I feel it detracts the viewing uh, experience for the majority of the people. But sometimes if I have a nice image that I want to share on Instagram, I've seen it's very easy for strangers to lift your photo completely off from Instagram. So I make it a little harder. And the same applies to videos as well, which I create using verbal. I, I can put the signature on a separate layer so that I have a kind of watermark on the video. In a photograph, it's quite easy to remove a signature also because you can use an app like Touch Retouch. But uh, that way, or they can crop your photo.